Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's a map button? What's the point of a map button? God dang it, Nintendo. Anyways, we are. Well, anyways, uh, we are going to a Rainbow Falls. And honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've been giving this game a little bit more criticism than I really have for it. I mean, I honestly, I don't hate this game, like I've been saying, at least. But, um, I do hate this game, to be honest. But, honestly, it's kind of like my feelings on, like, the whole Call of Duty and all those games. It's just kind of, I think it's overrated. And I, I don't actually mind this game at all. I mean, I honestly, if I had to play it, I would. But, uh... I wouldn't want that. But anyways, um, honestly, I have mixed feelings for this game. And honestly, despite that, though, I, I really do think they could have done a better job on it. And I see how they could have, but I understand why they didn't. But honestly, I, I have mixed feelings for this game. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the nicest thing I'll say for it. I honestly, when I first played this game, I didn't know if I wanted to like it or not. Let's get this guy out of the way here. This is also my favorite song in the entire game. This is like the best song in the whole freaking game. Get over here, bunnies. Uh, anyways, th no, honestly though, I really do have mixed feelings for this game. And, uh, just out to Nintendo, just don't do this again. I mean, if you make a sequel, at least add a health bar. I can actually step on my grab with that. Where are you going to? No, you can't. Turn around! Uh, uh, oh, crap. Just getting out of this goal, Matt. No! This is my fault. Anyways. But it's really. I think, honestly, all this game really needed was some criticism, though, amongst the human race. I don't know why the human race just. Crap, I'm failing to I'm feeling horribly today. I don't know why. They're an easy game too. That's the problem. Honestly, that was the problem with this game to start with, was just the fact that it was too easy. It had Nintendo put an actual difficulty to it. I would probably have enjoyed it a lot more. Outdoor bath. That's actually something that I would actually An outdoor bath would actually be kinda nice. I could imagine how cool that would be. And the quality would be a little bit bad today, because I don't know why. This is the surfer thing. I don't know why he looks like a penguin. I never understood that. Slower so I can explain this to me. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. I forgot about that. I forgot about that function entirely. Crap. Don't know why I did that wrong. But yes, the killing the enemies function is a little kind of, kind of this is kind of a thing that needs to get you need to get used to to actually use properly. But honestly, once you get I don't know why you get beads for killing the enemies. You can't really grab the beads. Missed that. Shouldn't have missed anything. Okay, good. That's one of the little things this game it actually does take a little bit of work, but it's not really a thing you have to do, so I'm not going to count it as actual difficulty in the game. This game, I don't know what's up with my audio today. 
If you guys are hearing that little buzzy sound in the background, I can hear that as well. And I don't know what's up with that. It's basically my cables are getting a little old, and I need to replace... Well, not really. The, the, the Dazzle itself is in perfect condition. It's just the cheap cables that need replaced. And I can easily replace them with a trip to Walgreens, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, this is actually one of the levels I actually did kind of think was pretty cool. The f how the level works. It's not really one of the levels that I actually kind of enjoy playing, but it's one of the ones that I like how I like how this how this is a, diff a bit of a change. You don't really go from left to right anymore. Now it's more up, up, going up. I'm trying to figure out what I wanted to say. Also, the music here is really cool, but that's how all the music in this game is. It's really kind of cool music. That's really why anyone should play. That's really why I like this game so much, considering the fact I didn't really like it that much. Most of my liking for this game was just for the soundtracks, but we know how uh, we know how Nintendo is with their music. Anyone, even the people who don't like Nintendo, love their music. Come on, give me that money or beads or whatever the fuck they are. I don't care. But honestly, I'm gonna be a little bit more lenient with this game for the rest of the LP. Grab this guy because I really don't care. Crap. Did not know. I also did not know that it'd be a bad idea to kill that guy, but it was. But I got that thingy anyways. I think a lattice is the things they always climb on cartoons. Not sure. I think it is. I think it is. I don't know. I don't think I do. Oh, I just to do. Okay. Can I top one of these guys? This is the introduction of balloons, which isn't really... It isn't really an enemy or anything, it's just like a thing that wild beasts can have, kind of like parasols. Also, about that one little thing I just grabbed there, that's one of the enemies that can actually hurt you in this game. So, this is when the game actually starts picking up with an excuse of difficulty. And it basically does like this high duke and... High you can... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Anyone, don't tell me. Ha! Did it. I got all of them? No, I missed one. Missed one. That's the most curious thing in the game. I think I think I know where it is. If I I might miss a few things throughout this LP, so I will be doing the levels over again, probably. Cause I didn't quite memorize this game for the LP. There's a little Hadouken bird. Yeah, Hadouken bear. Yeah, bird. I actually uh Got myself banned from Kirby Wiki one time for calling this thing a pair. <laughs> I called it a pair, and they banned me on Kirby Wiki. It was kind of funny. I, 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 it was not well, well taken there. I, 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 I wrote good things about the games, and I was still not well taken on that website. Because apparently, considering it was a Kirby-based site, they wanted the, the whole thing kid-friendly. No one really tells you these things. They don't tell you these things at all, and it kind of gets annoying. But uh, it was still pretty funny. I but I called it a pair and they banned me. <laughs> and based off the, no one considered the fact that this is like better than even. Come on. It was even like better than like the trolls you got on Wikipedia and changed the articles. But I'm just gonna kill you guys. You don't mind? None of you deserve a life of you live as you live. Take it. Oh, this guy's my favorite enemy in the game. Ouch. Give me back my stuff, you bitch. You bitch. You bitch. You will die for that one. Okay. Well, I guess he's gonna... Ouch, what the hell? I can't even hurt this guy.
Well, that was good. I lost half my cash that fight, but that's okay. Not like I needed it or anything. Guess he will be doing this level over again. Because I suck at fighting that thing. And as you can see, when you can get hit, it's a little bit too easy to get hit. And lose something, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the money isn't really important for beating the game like health is. I mean, think about it for a little Nintendo. Although I'm early in the game, it might not take that much of a toll on my uh, progress in this level. Damn you! Damn you, game! I killed him! I killed him, but it didn't really do me any good! No! What are you doing? I think our main focus here is getting anything better than, than nothing. <laughs> oh no, oh no. These beans are evil. Oh, there's a silver, so that's pretty good. I might be able to do it. My See, this is so easy the game is. I lose half my cash, and I still can manage to get a perfect score with this level. Why did I grab him? Why did I grab him? That was a dumb move. Also, that's the last treasure, so... Guess I did get them all. I want, I want that. Now, those things, I never did explain those in the previous two episodes. So I will explain them now while it's not too late. Definitely not too late. Uh, basically, the things that I've been grabbing are... Uh, at the end, if you notice that wheel, when you get to a certain point, you'll get an amount of beads based off like how many fireworks you can blow up. Like this. Well, the, see, for each one you grab, it'll add another one of the layers to this thing. And the gray part's where I didn't get the thing for. And it doesn't really matter to like the point where you need to do it to get them all. And actually, when you... when you, uh... if you fail the level like I did... Oh, God. Oh, did it! What the f... That's me for you, people. I would have gotten it anyways, I guess. So, doesn't matter. But, uh... There we go. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. And with the beanstalk thing growing... See, this is one thing I did do right, though. They considered glitches. Which I have to respect. Despite the fact I'm not a big fan of this game, I have to respect they at least thought of glitches. And Fangora is my favorite thing ever. See, my favorite Kirby boss is in this game, though, so I can't give it that much hate. It's freaking Fangora, people. Look at that thing. I could just imagine if Fangora was made in a non-yarn game, and how cool that would look. It probably would just be the dude from that computer battle, but still. Is the computer battle even in the, uh... Yeah, it is. It is. It's in the, uh, Super Nintendo version with the... Like, with the dragon. Like, with the dragon. I know there's a slime and the puppet and the magician in the... first one, and the second time you fight him, you have the magician, the knight, and the, uh... No one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Take that, you bastard! That's like a Mario Mario Galaxy reference, isn't it? I don't fucking know. Now, also, you guys might notice beyond even the gold mark is this little circle on there, and that is where you will get one of the patches that unlocks a secret bonus level, basically. And after we kill this guy, we'll stop the episode. And I'm gonna try to unlock that bonus thing. So basically, you gotta do a good job in the boss fight if you want to get all the levels done. But you can just crap up all the boss fights. A little secret here. It doesn't give you anything for this, but... Uh-oh, bitch. Don't grab it. Just a little tip, guys. Let him shoot more fireballs, and you'll be glad you did. Hey, 
you have it. Now you'll see there's still a point where you can get to on there. We got it. So that will unlock a level later. Which I do once. No, you bastard! I love his dragon noises he makes. They're just beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, tits. Oh shit, tits! Thank goodness! I thank goodness. See, they thought about everything. Everything. But still. Still. They thought about all the programming standards, but they didn't think about all the gaming itself standards. And I. Uh, that's why I had mixed feelings about this game. They patched up glitches and stuff, but they didn't really make it a good game. So. Honestly, anyone could agree. You found the Fangora music. You found the Mole Patch. You get the music for boss fights anyway, just by fighting them and winning, I believe. We did it. We got the magic yarn. Magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. And I think as cutscene plays over again, every single level you beat, we're going to let him play. This is the freaking best level ever the in the game. This is actually when they get to the good levels. See, so you might notice that right now it's all flowery and gay. Now it's going to get all magma-y and awesome. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was growling. No. So he was no. searching for food. No. Scream. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in Patchland. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He chased him for so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. Darn. Hey, <laughs> Darn, you can't say that in a game this low level. This is the most kiddish game in the world. You can't say darn, even. And as you can see, next level is unlocked, but we will not go to Hotlands until a later episode. Next episode, we will do the bonus levels of World 1 with this little patch I found. So in the next episode, we'll place it, and see you then.